What is happening, ladies and gents? It's Limit here, playing some more Hand of Fate 2, and we're going to be tackling strength. Uh, we need to steal half of an ancient relic from an ogre. It has left you, or stealing half of an ancient relic from an ogre it has left us dying and cursed. Gear up and claim the other half of Edizi, Edizia's charm. <laughs> so it's going to be dice. We need to have a bunch of armor. Uh, and we only start with 10 life. Eating food does not heal. So things that give us uh, health health gain, like encounters, equipment, uh, and supplies. Or we're going to start with. So since for dice, I brought um, this dude. I forget what his name is. Uh, I got a bunch of counters. Some to see what they are. Some for healing. Uh, equipment, I've got... Again, some to see what they are, and also things for defense, dice, food, etc. And then for starter supplies, uh, these two, because I don't know what they are, and some other armor. Since food won't heal us, we'll probably still need it when we move, and probably not having food, we'll die anyways, but if that, if that is the case, we'll just uh, die and try again. <laughs> so let's do it. It seems you too are hasty. Here is our evidence of your eagerness to leap into difficulties you cannot face. You must know yourself, hone yourself, Touch sharpen yourself. your wits, and your sword against the challenges ahead. Ninety life immediately. The bitter taste of blood is the first indicator that you're still alive. Blind and disoriented, you make out a voice calling to you. Wake up, wake up, the voice rings in your ears. Are you still with us? A pair of strong hands shake you upright. Your vision steadies us. And Kolbjorn's somber face swims into view, right? Kolbjorn, that's what his name is. Oops, Bjorn. Uh, ask where you are. Kolbjorn gestures you to be quiet. He presses his back up against a boulder besides you and grimaces, holding his side. As your head clears, a booming voice echoes out from deep in the foggy marsh. Ho oh. ho. Where have you crawled, casted mites? Let your insides be gut and bones be crunched. You peer around a rock, and from the mist steps an ogre, three times as tall as a man, and with a lumpen, vicious face. His one good eye darts about wildly as he surveys the area, hunting for something. The ogre grunts and scoops up a broken, shining trinket from the ground splashed red with blood. Ruined with your dirty blood. Wretched cut purses. Riven in two. His great hideous face turns red. If thou listen here, I will find the twin, and then I will eat thine eyes. The ogre lifts his club and smashes a tree trunk in anger. The tree creaks and crashes to the ground as Dragnar the ogre turns and disappears back into the mist. Colbion grimaces as he holds his side, attempting to hide the severity of his injuries. Here, you're injured. Eat. He throws you a medicinal herb bun. Weak to your bones, you gratefully take a bite. Mmm. And the bread turns to ash in your mouth. Yuck. With a sinking realization, you pull the other half of the ogre's trinket from your pack. Sure enough, you feel a wrongness emanating from it. While holding only half, food does not restore life. You can't throw it away. Or make Kilbjorn hold it either. A stab of hunger hits your stomach. There's only one thing for it. You must steal back the other half of the ogre from the ogre that almost killed you. Ah, the closest town is Drapier. Draper. Don Draper. Kolbjorn whispers hoarsely. We cannot hope to defeat an ogre now. Summoning your remaining strength, you lift yourself to your feet and stagger to town. Boop. You must be ready for whatever will come. The usurper will give us no warning. Great. A slight rustling in the reeds is all the warning you'll get that your life is in grave danger. You've been ambushed. Great. <laughs> Stupid computer. I don't know what's going on with it. And the fine sword. We get to know what it does. Guessing it's an empire type sword. Hmm. Well honed and well worn. Just like your wiener. 
Wait, that hasn't been used at all. Excuse me, video game? Hello? Video game? You broke? Okay, that I don't know what happened there. The whole computer just froze. This game did get a patch today. I wonder if it's having issues, if I'm having issues. I'll check after this battle. That was the only time I've ever seen this game freeze up. The raid is defeated. Do you search the area for supplies? Let me just look and see. Anything going on? Everything looks. I don't know what is going on. Everything looks okay. Cool. Um, let's go up here. Revenge. A right. motive I support Might wholeheartedly. Not have wanted to put Colbjorn's quests in here. They probably will get us killed. We might leave. <laughs> The pitiful emptiness of Clan Eyebright becomes even more apparent when you walk through this bustling northern village. Children run past laughing, you can smell the warmth of bubbling honey. Your companion ignores all of this, his usual forlorn blank expression replaced with fury. He soon, soon finds what he's looking for, a warrior, larger than even the hulking Corbjorn, clad in armor and blue of uh, blue crystal. Shit. Rog fear. Corbjorn roars. The skull turns around, eyebrows raised. I have come to seek revenge for Clan Eyebright. You burned us to the ground. Not even the children were spared. A few Crowfoot villagers cover their mouths in horror, but most look on, unsurprised by this revelation. The scald of Clan Crowfoot grimaces. Clan Eyebright stood against the orders of the High Priestess. Obi-Wan draws his weapons. We will not join in the bloodbath. The High Priestess wishes doom upon all our people. Wait. <laughs> Rongvir drives his sword from the ground into the ground. Godless. The High Priestess has shown us the way, and it is true and good to cleanse the lands of the crawling empire insects. What northerner are you if you have nothing to fight for other than your own sniveling life? The skull thunders. I remember you, worm. When you were asked to lie on my sword to save your village, you hesitated. He steps closer, grinning maniacally. It was you who murdered your clan, not I. Menacingly, also. Colbjorn throws one of his mighty swords at Rogvir. Quick as a whip, he dodges it and flings a bolas in return. The cords bind Colbjorn's neck and arms, and he topples back into a waiting band of northern warriors. You feel an explosion of pain at the base of your skull, and your world goes black. Great. You rouse from your stupor tied to a tree. The rope bites painfully into your wrists. With bleary eyes, you see Rogvir towering over you. Obiorn is being restrained by a good number of northerners nearby. Cobron looks at you, pure fear in his eyes. The skull draws a throwing dagger from his belt, and with a flick of his wrist, sends it spinning through the air towards you. You tug at your bindings, but you make no progress. Colbjorn hesitates for a moment before closing his eyes and leaping into the path of the blade. The steel blade finds no resistance as it buries itself hill deep in Colbjorn's chest. Companion death! <laughs> Your mighty companion slumps to his knees, blood bubbling from his mouth. He falls face first on the cold ground, and you know in that instant that Colbjorn is dead. But you still have to fight a thousand things at ten health. So you die. And then you restart this mission without this Colbion card in your deck. Because... No. No thank you. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Scald Rogvir. Leader of Can Crow Clan Crowfoot, Scald is known even among tyrants for his brutality and bloodlust. Tyrants f favor regenerative ice armor that stops standard attacks. Use Pash to break their armor. Great! No, we're dead. Like, for serious, we're dead. Yep. Hey, you killed your friend! I'll allow it. 
Wait. She just disappeared. What a bitch. Oh, it's for 13. You die. Blood stains the ground. All right, let's take that card out. Every failure in <laughs> combat can be balanced by Apparently success strength. on the table. Not the right one to do that quest on. No. No, sir. Okay. Um, encounters. Probably Orn is a little bitch. Where is it? I gotta take it out of here. Man, girlfriend, get out of here, you weirdo. Um, what else? What else do we want to bring? Lose life? No, I don't, I don't want that. Um. Yeah, sure. Arm wrestling. I like it. Let's try again. <laughs> How could I have known? I mean, his burning forest one was pretty terrible, but. I'm sure we could do that in. Full health, and if it was the first thing we saw, has been for me a blessed relief. You have pulled me away from eternity, and in the process, I have lost something fundamental. Yep, evil charm going to drapier. Boom, I admire that you have other skills beyond violence. Yet, <sighs> if there's one thing that the usurper has taught me. It's that violence can sometimes answer questions that otherwise have none. I see. So he's a super against me, like, stealing from thieves and stuff in town. But I have to murder some people. He's totally cool. The sun's warm rays do little to lift your spirits as the mosquitoes and flies torment you. To avoid the swelling bogs, you press onto higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshlands. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the road. Aww. Right. I mean, we should be fine with this sword. Uh, let's do it. Greed silencer. What? When you check the path to the right, you hear the distant sound of a group of raiders squabbling in the northern tongue. Uh, what? Oh. I can fight either or. I see. What is a greed silencer? Have we seen that? Is that just the guy that breathes fire? The humble mosquitoes fills the air. You ready yourself for combat? You get one shot. You die. Did I bring something to counter this? I think I did. If we survive, look at the little froggy by Kobeorn's foot. Oh, so cute. Are there skeletons? Holy! Okay, it's these guys. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Kobeorn, you saved me. I have three health. Three health, ten health. Eh, it's the same thing. With the thieves subdued, you notice that their stash of treasures hang precariously from a tree over the bog below. You reach out and cut the rope, holding the spoils. Or do you? Exact. Uh, yep. I like that one. You're, you successfully collect a prize. Continue on your journey. Uh, let's camp. Gather yourself before you travel further. Uh, don't I have... Uh, 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 use an artifact. Yes. Healing spirits. Restore ten life. Use it. I should put the goblin dude in the deck. Because he replenishes artifacts. If we find him, he would give us another three uses. Uh, okay. Uh, we got ten bucks. What you got? Don't have enough. Too expensive. Let's leave. Uh, we're not dead. Six bucks? You know it. What is braggart? 
Gain 10 fave until you lose any gambit. Gain 20 gold at the beginning of the new map. If you have less than 20, we might. If your max life is less than 150, you gain. You may discard food gain or equipment gain cards to receive plus 5 max life. Max life doesn't give me health. I don't think. Uh, receive 15 life for every gold gain card. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, please. Okay, innkeeper. Uh, latest rumors? without healing. You and I must heal more than ourselves. We oh. must heal this world. Oh. She refilled it? Is that what happened? Yeah, Alright. <laughs> um, okay, put those two cards in your deck for this. Just heal for 60 life, no big deal. Swamplands. After another day of rainfall, the marshlands swell into a swamp. Water and mud obscure the path ahead, and as you press on, every direction begins to look the same. You roll the dice to see if you know where the hell you're going. You probably don't. Sure don't. Reroll everything. You probably have to use Colby on. You sure do. Ah, we would need a four or higher. I mean, I guess we try. Nope. And he's out of commission. Disoriented and slowed by the bog, spent another day finding your way back to the path. As you scramble up the path, a booming voice echoes down over the marshlands. It is Draknir. High in thy burrow, little mouse. I can smell thy blood. Great, we don't have Colby on. We did it anyways. <laughs> With luck on your side, you lose Draknar in the morass and double back to the trail. You continue toward the drape here without delay. Push forward we need towards food. your final confrontation. You find your way out of the mire and onto the road to drape here. Too many words obscure the actual truth of the matter. Sometimes simple actions tell all. Mm-hmm. Approaching Draper's gates, you notice a woman of enormous stature dressed in a blue tunic and a leather apron. Three smithing hammers hang from her waist. The woman rushes forward and embraces you, burying you in her chest. Oh, thank gods be praised, she cries. I thought you'd surely be dead. She releases you, sadly, and looks you up and down. Oh, look at you, she says before you can get a word in. That foul beast didn't get hold back now, dead dang blind and like old pee pee. What? What'd she say? She whips around to face your companion. Go blown. She be bellows. I thought I told you to keep him out of trouble. I warned you about Dracnaw and look what's happened. You should know better than to steal from an ogre. Colbjorn wanders past the fuming woman and down to the river to fish in peace. As she pauses for breath, you sigh you seize your chance to interrupt. And say, who the hell are you? Uh, I'm Eradne. Er, 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 I'm. Er, yep, Eradne. I'm Arachnid, the blacksmith's daughter. She says, surprised. We met back at Black Ale Pub and the night before you set off to steal Adesia's charm. I almost broke your wrists in arm wrestling, remember? As you pause for more breath, you say, what the hell about the charm? <sighs> she pokes at the broken ornament gingerly. <laughs> Forgive me if I don't take it. The curse of the Adesia's charm only affects the wielder. If it makes you feel any better, the yogurt is probably starving now too. From the looks of the silver work, this is an old relic indeed. Um, what now about an ogre? Dragnow, she says. Well, Dragnow the Mighty, as he is known, has lived in these parts for an age. Many have tried to fail the beast before you two misfits, that's for sure, she explains. But few live to tell their tale. 
The ogre is notorious for ambushing travelers and traders alike. Not even empire soldiers are safe in these parts. Accumulated a wealth of treasures plucked from his victims, including that cursed relic you have now. Ah, uh, she stops her breath. You just run the hell away. Arachnid shakes her head. One blow from Dragnet's club would crush you. You won't survive it unless you get a good set of armor on you. Increase your defense. Listen, I help run a traveling forge. It's currently heading here. I'm not going to do it for free, mind you. Come see us, and we'll sort you out with some good and proper equipment and armor. A piece of the Odysseus charm weighs heavy in your pack. You wish to fling it into the mire, but some strange magic stays your hand. Starving and injured, you rest a while in town. Um, to buy food? I don't... Food? Please? <laughs> Please food? Do what you can to find more food. I, dude, I want to. Uh, the trading house in the capital is well known for its fair butter exchanges. People from around the world gather here to trade their wares. Welcome, adventurer. Do you have something to trade? Ask a strapping young merchant. Two transactions remain. Uh, trade equipment for food? Trade one piece of equipment for two food. What? Is it empty? Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 I can trade two then. Because they're both empty. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we found a way to refill it one time, but come on, that's not going to happen again. <laughs> the shipment of exotic fruit has just arrived in the lands beyond the southern sea. That's a video game. You got a million food. Ah, uh, what? Now you trade food for equipment. <laughs> so much food. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Put up 12 food. And pick from two pieces of equipment. Hmm. So you can put up eight, get a rando. Put up 12 and... Get to pick. Hmm. Two pieces of equipment for one new random equipment. No, I can't do that. I'm tempted to. We got a lot of food there. More, way more than I thought we were gonna get. Um. Let's get a rando piece. Here's a nice one for you. I traded a wild Yurok. Aurok. Here's the thing. Take it. The trader's urge. Good, that's what I wanted. That'll serve you well. We're closed. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> We're closed. You'll have to come back another day. Damn right I will. Ah! We've had this before. It uh, heals us. If we do the dice. And we do the dice. Breaks through the clouds and bathes you. You gain some max HP and then even more max HP. Nice. So max HP does give it to you right then. That's cool. Um, this is a. Everything looks the same. Cool. Nope. Not even close. Just barely. With some luck, you'll find your way to higher and drier ground. Back in the path you. Continue your journey. I kind of want to look at this one. But I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> the poor weather slows your day's journey. Shit. Ah, you have to put on. Oh, oh, it's showing us which cards we want to fight. So we can fight five duders. Or. Three frost duders. I would rather fight frost duders. I don't like the Empire. They got shields and guns. These guys are men after my own heart. Just brutes. Obi Wan, you wanna uh, get in there and. Okay. 
Corbjorn, help me. Thank you. I love you, Corbjorn. Can we not take his helmet that just fell off? Give ourselves more armor? With the Raiders defeated, you notice some equipment hidden off the path in the mire. Perhaps they were guarding it? You slide down to the treasure. You don't get it. You don't get it at all. You really don't get it. I mean, sure, let's try to get a four or higher. Nope. <sighs> you lose your balance as you slide. Not getting an item in the bog and losing it forever. Disappointed, you shit your pants. <sighs> and you lose Colby. Feeling dizzy from the lack of food, you find the road again. You weakly trudge on, knowing you must face the Algarsin. Yeah, I know. Let's go. Perhaps you can gain the tools you need for the road ahead. But probably not. A column of smoke and the clang of metal are the first signs that you're in the right place. As you round the bend, you see a forge, the forge, outside the gates of Blackwater. You spy your new acquaintance, Arachnid, assisting a blacksmith on the bellows. Ah, there you are. Arachnid says with a smile. She removes her gloves to wipe her brow. She does not press you between her bosoms once again. These are the two I was telling you about, Anders, she says to the blacksmith. I almost broke this one's wrist in an arm wrestle and then smothered him in my cleavage. Ah, so I hear you're out to fight the ogre, the blacksmith says. My specialty here is improving armor and helms and the like. I must admit, it's normally only horseshoes and farming equipment I mend these days, so it may well take a while. I assure you it'll be well worth your time, probably. Uh, we got like leather armor right now? Bastion's 15. Heavy shield. Yeah, okay. Make our shield even cooler. Yeah, sure. You hand the smith your shield, and he begins to examine the item thoroughly, inspecting every joint and seam. Yes, I can certainly improve this, but it'll take several days. Oh, I'm heading to Cottonmore. Meet me there. And the job will be done. Oh, if you bring another item to me there. I'll see if I can improve that one as well. Be careful out there. No one wants to see you go hollow. You think, Anders, and continue on your way. You have no armor because you're a son of a bitch. I can imagine tree. how your headstone will look. Should you manage to get eaten by an herb. I hate you. Uh, so he wants, we gotta throw meat. We gotta throw something in his mouth. Um, do we have anything good to throw? Uh, you know what? I throw the trader's herb. We didn't, or the trader's urge. We didn't even use it, but you know what? There you go. Yep. I want the HP. Hell yeah. Creature curls up. Cool. Great. Great. Slight rustling in the reeds is all you get for dare danger. The confusion bomb is pretty cool. But HP is pretty cool when you can't heal. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> what, is, what is going on with these? I just can't can't hit him to save my life. Oh, no, that happened. Kobe, will not you, uh, never mind. Yep, oh, oh. Sploosh. <laughs> Broke his neck. Hmm, with the Raiders defeated, you search the area for supplies. Supplies! That wasn't the 
way to go. You return to Valnavet's cottage. Shit. What if they eat me? I don't know where it goes. <laughs> Yvette greets you by the door. Baby Yvonne is cooing quietly in a blanket in the kitchen floor. You son of a bitch. Once again, Yvette offers you a meal of beef, pie, and potatoes. It would be rude to refuse. Baby Yvonne crawls under the dining table, babbling sweetly to herself. You take your leave, and it sticks a fork into a socket, just like that video game. Oh. <laughs> Was that game where you gotta like keep the baby from doing stuff? Ah, the sun's, wa sun's warm rays do little lift your spirits. Mosquitoes. Slurp. Greed anarchists. Is that the ones that breathe fire? Okay. And some vampire. I would rather fight the anarchists. Especially if, there, if there's only two. I like those odds. Do it! Do it, Colbion! I believe in you! Good. He almost pushed me physically into his bomb. <laughs> because I was doing my animation and he was doing his. He was like, no, get back in there. Get in that explosion. And treasures. Maybe. Probably not. Nope. Come on, baby. Nope! What is it with always needing a four? <sighs> well, we did it for once. <laughs> Sell that. <laughs> nice. You find your way out of the mire and into the road to cotton more. And just greets you with a smile. Ah, there you are. We were just about to leave. You must be wanting this. Bastion of Purification with 25 defense. I, yes, I would like that. Thank you. The Smith's workshop is exemplary. The shield feels stronger than it once was, yet it remains, its weight remains unchanged. Um. Dude, you're gonna do it again? What? I'm trying to think, we have other armors in the loadout that I think have better starter defense. And I pride myself on my workmanship, he says, pausing. This one's already at the limits of what I could do. Oh, uh, well, why did you offer it to me then, huh, you jerk? Use my armor. You hand the smith your armor and he begins to look at it, and, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, I could certainly improve this, but it'll take several days. I'm heading to Evergreen. Meet me there, and the uh, job will be done. Oh, and if you bring me another item there, I'll see if I can prove that one, too. Probably a helmet, because this one, you know, you know. Nobody wants to see you go hollow. I get it, dude. You're the blacksmith from Dark Souls. Let's make some cash. I don't have my buddy to help me, though, so let's just get a 12. Nope. Let's get a 12. Yay! 20 bucks. And we get HP because we get gold. Oh, such a good one. That's a really good blessing. <laughs> I like it. All right. Really? Let's do this. I hate the double or the big shield guys. Just hate them. The steel captain. Yar! Command falls on the head of those who are loud, brash, and fortunate. Captains wear armor that double standard attacks use bash. Dude, everything is bash. Unless you got Colbyorn. Excuse me? Don't do it. Dude, he's so fast. He is so fast. Don't touch me. Don't 
Don't shoot me either. Don't do any of the things. Colbjorn. Excuse me? I hit block? All right, Colbjorn. I'm coming. Don't do it. Okay, one down. 36 more to go. You son of a bitch. Goldbone is pushing me out of the way. Yeah, that's why I hate the uh, Empire. Like, their fights just take forever compared to any other people. Also, we got hit. It makes me feel bad. Come on, gold. Aww. Gold would have healed me. Just like in real life. <gasps> Shit, we've already asked for longer life. Let's ask for gold then. So I think if we do all of them, maybe we get the token? Also, that heals us. So next time we ask for food. Friends okay. in high places will take you far these days. What? what? There are no equipment cards with faction traits? I don't even I don't even know what that means. Oh, if I would have had items in my deck that were like, these ones are good against thieves. Okay. You find your way out of the mire and onto the road to Evergreen. Ah, there you are. And it says stepping back from the anvil. Guess you've come to collect this. Twenty on the middle road. We need fifteen more armor. I should not have thrown away with a trinket. <laughs> the smooth workmanship is exemplary. The armor feels stronger than it once was. Its weight remains unchanged. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? I don't have anything. Well, I'll be here a little longer, he explains, as you leave. But if you can't make it back, I'll be heading to town to Braden next. Thanks, Smith, for his time. Continue on your journey. Can I... Is there no camp here? Is there something? Uh, what you got? That doesn't have any armor on it, so... Yeah. Um... <laughs> Break camp? Um. Cheerful woodcutter. Woodcutter reaches the warm spot. Well, hello there. I don't see many people in these woods. Are you injured? Didn't try to go in there, did you? Turns just to the woods behind him, unwittingly swinging a pile of harvested lumber around directly at your head. Uh, yep. Nope. What? <laughs> the fog knocks you clumsy to the ground. You take a pain card. Ah! Woodcutter turns back to address you. I'm Earl Thorne. My friends call me Thorne. You? He gasps when he sees you sprawled on the ground. This is no place to slumber, my friend. He laughs and extends a sturdy arm to help you to your feet. Uh, how do you avoid the dangers of the woods, dude? I think we've done this one before, but it has reverted back? I don't know. Uh, Thorne wages a large finger at you. You've already seen the dangers of the woods, haven't you? You seem uh, like a kindly sort, so I'll share with you my secret. He gestures to a simple gold ring adorning his right hand. Mysterious trader gifted me this when I offered him a favorable rate on some furs. She thought it a worthless trinket, but she has never visited these woods. I wore it for years before I ever came here, while others are troubled by shadow beasts and plagues. I am not. Uh, okay, so... Let's talk about the woods. I think we asked about the forest. Will you give me the string, please? Ah, uh, I'm well, paid well for this. The wood I collect appears to be the only one who can harvest it. You'd have to make me a very rich man if I were to give it up. Let's try to persuade him. We need a four. I think we can get a four. Barely. <laughs> uh, please go even cheaper. Pretty sure we can get a five. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Oh, we got 39 gold. I don't even know if we can get to 39 gold, but that'd be kind of fun. Sure. Victory. You are learning. All right. 56. We are not going to get low enough. Holy smokes. <laughs> nope. 
Not even close. All right, maybe barely. Uh, 39, I don't, I do. I paid 39 gold. <laughs> I suppose that's a fair price. Paul seems slightly unhappy with his gold. Here's the ring, my friend. I won't miss carrying all these tree trunks. Sure. Still need armor, dude. Shit. Okay, we've got dudes and dudes. What kind of the same? Oh, I see. Oh. 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 Shit. <laughs> um. Churros fight the Empire Brigands. <sighs> I need a helmet. I put a few helmets, I think, in the deck. Colbyorn? I don't have Colbyorn here. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Hey, hey, I was doing a thing. Excuse me? I was doing the thing again? Sure. Bastion of, uh, whatchamadoodle? Parian gunshots. I, I missed everybody. Dare touch me while I'm doing things. You know what? Have at you. Oh, I don't think we have Colbyorn to try to roll for the sack of goodies. And I need that sack. armor somewhere. <sighs> More monsters. Greed silencers and those guys. Or frost shaman and some frost berserkers. I think I'll take the berserkies. And we've got Colby on with us. I don't think I'm gonna get an armor card to give to that guy. Hey, hey, I'm doing a thing. You mind, sir? I'm beating up your shaman? Okay. Excuse me, I did it three times? What a butt. going on with these guys, but they are not functioning properly. Maybe they are. Uh, that, yep. Oh. No, it's, it has to do with the frost they're putting on me. It's like it's blocking the next attack.
Eh, weird. Sometimes it lets me counter attack back, and sometimes it doesn't. Good work, Colbjorn. I got hit like four times. I don't know how I'm gonna get more defense. I need equipment guards that aren't that. Helmet, please? Ring! Ugh, it's a good ring, but uh, it's not what I want at all. Will you take the armor, sir? Will you just, will you just take it again? to have a helm. But what if the game won't give me a helm? Did you ever think of that game? You only got the one thing. Oh! I need 28 bucks. How do I get 28 bucks? 27 bucks? I gotta sell. Sell it all. What can I sell? Everything? Sell you. Sell you. 27 bucks. It's the greatest. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Upgrade my helmet, please. <laughs> you hit the smith your helmet and he begins examining it. Oh, yes, it'll certainly prove this. It'll take several days. I oh, bet you can't find me at that place. You know what? Look at that. I'm already there. You didn't even have a chance to go anywhere. Oh, you found me already. Wow. When even the fires of creation are destroyed, what new wonders can enter the world? Oh, no. You spy a column of smoke in the distance. Wreckage strewn across the road it alerts you to the fate of the traveling forge. You rush to the forge and find Andrew sitting on a wooden stool amidst the debris. Startled, but otherwise okay. Ah, he says, looking up. I was hoping you'd find me here. The ogre Tracknar ambushed the forge while I was traveling to Brayton. I'm fine, he continues, tearing up a little. And the forge can be rebuilt. It's Ari that I'm worried about. She stormed off in a rage. Her heart is in the right place, but I fear she's no match for Tracknar by herself. Oh, I almost forgot, the smith continues. You'll probably be needing this hat of sexualness. It's only 11. I don't have enough! <laughs> oh, no. The smith's workmanship is exemplary. The helm feels stronger than it once was, yet its weight remains unchanged. I'm afraid the forge is in no state to assist further in your quest. Now please stop out before she does something foolish. You think the smith and set up towards the ogre's lair in search of arachnid. You will not get the super token because you're four defense off. Like a nerd. On the longest night of the winter, the townsfolk of Stigel set up around a large bonfire to celebrate the victory of the Light of Darkness. One night, the Empire turns blind eye to the outlawed use of magic. You join a group of peasants close to the fire. Taking a sip, the woman beside you offers you a goblet. Politely accept the pungent potion and take a swift, quick swig. Warmth rush rushes through your body and you fall into a deep, hypnotic trance as you stare into the dancing flames. The townsfolk chant calling on the mountain spirits in flurry of snow spirits descend to join the festivity the curious white owl perches next to you and speaks Harry Potter must not go to wait that's the wrong owl and that was also Dobby <laughs> I sense a magical air about you if you feel particularly inclined will you share your blessing in exchange for longevity uh, uh, I only have like two blessings one blessing shit when I saw, no, it was when you get gold cards, gold game cards. So I was thinking when I sold stuff to Caravan, did I get health? There's no telling if I'm gonna get gold, so at least this way I'll get some health. Tingling sensation flows through your body. Okay, gaze into the flames. The festivities continue around you. you wake, find yourself on a, find yourself in a stable nestled among a herd of cows. Your anus hurts for some reason. On your way out, you spot a few unconscious Empire guards huddled together outside the stable. 
What? Sure. Oh, Jesus. Oh, just straight up ambushed. Cool. I love it. I love it. Maybe they'll give me a helmet that has like 15 defense on it. Oh, yeah. They won't, though. Oh, I want to get in there, but there's so many dudes in the way. Eh, let's run. No, don't do it. Oh, he did it. What? I was in the animation for the... See, I don't like that. That's still something I don't like. If you're gonna let me do the animation for, like, executing somebody, you can't uh, also allow me to take damage when I can't do anything. Excuse me? For honor. Psych. Yep. All right. All right, guns. You need to go away. That means that means what's his butt? Probably on his knees again. Okay, he didn't hit me that time while I was in the animation. That was nice of him. Just get eaten. And also give me a helmet with four more defense on it, please. Please, one time. Also, it hurts real bad. Uh, I mean, it's probably up, right? But let's go down. I already sold that once, but thank you. <laughs> We've had it, sold it, got Making it. Oh, great. Deals with the guild. I can only think this will end poorly for both of us. I guess your better judgment, you decide to appeal to the Thieves Guild for their patronage to help fund the journey ahead. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Some of the guild members are sympathetic towards your cause and offer support in the future. Oh. Well, I guess we'll be taking 15 max life. Nice. And also this one. <laughs> Maybe. Rest of the guild shows little interest in getting involved with their misadventures. They're not going to give it to you now, but if you find them again later in a future deck, maybe. Weird. Who are you that you flee so eagerly to the source of your own destruction, staggering across fields of bones in order to seek revenge? Mist pools in the foothills as you approach the uh, ogre's lair. Bones of fallen champions litter the way, picked clean by vultures. The weapons lay here and there, rusted by the damp and twisted by the weather. I wish I could improve my defenses, but I can't. You catch up with Arachnid and she charges through the hillside. In her hand, she carries a massive mace. Its face, fashioned from the traveling forge's anvil. Wow, that's... Very Dark Souls. Let's see how he likes it when my forge fights back. Uh, we're close. Goldbjorn whispers, drawing his blade and scanning the rocky outcrop ahead. Keep your wits about you. If you have to make preparations, this could be our last chance. I don't, I don't know what... There's nothing to do. Can't do anything. <laughs> I've got... That's it. That's all I got, dude. This is no time for caution. Aradne says, pushing past. Let me at the beast. No one destroys my father's forge and continues to draw breath. She stops and lets out a roar. Where are you, monster? The silhouette of the ogre looms out of the mist. He raises his club over his head and leaps down from his perch, smashing the ground in front of you. The poor fools come, happy to their death. He grins, 
displaying a mouth of yellow, jagged teeth. Crunch, crunch, the little wagon went. Does your bones sing as beautifully? Eratne bellows in defiance and charges her foe. Drachner swings his club wildly, catching Colbjorn and sending them flying. Oh. Then the ogre swings at you. Uh. With surprising dexterity, Arne leaps to your aid, taking the blow in your stead. Battered, she crumples to the ground at your feet. Ah, there was no way you'd be able to take a blow of that magnitude in that armor. She huffs. Aww. Aww. Blood bubbling from her mouth, but I'm afraid I won't be much help now. Draknar roars and charges into battle. I bet she would have been good. She would have let us take the hit if we'd had 60 defense, and then she would have been in battle. Wrecked. No, time to fail. Ogre. Get out of my mist swamp. Dude, look at that beard. Draknar the Mighty. Even amongst ogres, Draknar is feared. Once he was a leader among their kind, but those days are long gone. This ogre's thick hide reduces damage by four, making low damage weapons less effective. Beware, club deals devastating damage. Damage, evade, or perish. Well, I'm probably gonna die. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Excuse me? You swing twice? Inappropriate. Excuse me? That was way quicker than you could possibly do. Hit me! Okay. Okay. Rude. And we missed. Cool. Get pooped on. That was my fault. What? Little bitch. Again, where we get the armor, have to bring better helmets. With the ogre defeated, you help Aradna and Colby under their feet. Then you see it shining under a pile of bloody drags and small bones. The other half. The two halves of Adizia's charm slide together, and with this brush of relief, you feel the curse lift. Every butcher understands how best to cleave flesh from bone. Really? Every <laughs> excludes undead. Okay, create an aura the last 60 seconds while active. Gain one food for every enemy defeated. That's cool. That's cool. Pretty cool. Get all, gotta get a lot of things weak. Uh, with a shot of joy, Rodney lifts her hammer to the sky. Wow, that was exhilarating. When I got hit and then couldn't fight, we brought down Draknar the Mighty. We're bloody heroes. What do you mean, we? I could have totally taken that hit. <laughs> she runs her hand over her hammer. She seems reluctant reluctant to let this moment go. Say, you don't need some extra muscle in your troop, do you? Nope. <laughs> and so you gather more tools, and with each step, more power. Cool. Oh, look, a helmet. That would have been nice. And some more armor. And dual weapons. And a better shield. And? She's a drunkard? Uh, trading house, we get. Sure, I don't know what that does. And. Uh, Forest Guardians ring and return to the Deadly Forest. All right then. Think. Also, do not continue to fail me. Failure. I have need of your greatest efforts. Dang. Uh, 